pardon the interruption. Greetings, everyone. Have you ever wondered how the universe came to be? How the stars got there? And what planets might orbit them? Might those worlds even be inhabited? Do you ever look up at the stars and wonder if someone might be looking back? To put it another way, who here is from out of town? Because I am. I'm from way out of town. I come to you in friendship. I have an admiration for any species with a spark of wonder flickering in their imaginations and a passion for the truth thundering in their hearts. Though I come from a species very different and much older than yours, you and I are kindred spirits, united by our curiosity and the urge to search for answers to the big questions and know the universe as it really is. I can feel the curiosity right here in this room, in you humans who've come to a planetarium to look up at the big picture and to explore space. Imagine taking a trip across incredible distances to visit the black hole at the heart of your Milky Way galaxy or watching the most spectacular stage of stellar evolution as a white dwarf star explodes into a supernova right before your eyes. As fellow inhabitants of the universe, we share a common origin. Maybe you can feel it in your bones. Well, even if you can't, the calcium in your bones was manufactured in the same factory as the iron in your blood, and the carbon in that breath you're breathing. All these elements were pumped into existence by the hearts of stars. It's almost magical when you think about it. The lights in the sky provided the building blocks for all life in your world, and all life beyond your world, I might add. You can call me the searcher, as I'm searching for a lost civilization for my lost civilization. After exploring the depths of space for a very long time, I return to my home planet to find everyone gone. Now, when I look up at the majesty of a starry night, 